Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello there. You're here with your host, Sean uh, Brooks, a.k.a. the real estate guy, your host of the settlement show. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is breaking news. Uh, not yes, uh, yesterday. Actually, the Federal Reserve met and they discussed what was going on in the economy. So what they decided to do is uh, what we all expected. Uh, we were all anticipating this news um, coming out uh, from the Federal Reserve. Over the last month, they have dropped the interest rates. The interest rates have slowly but surely been dropping. And um, we got good news today. And this is good news, all right? So the reason why we say it's good news is that the Federal Reserve, again, keeps interest rates steady as inflation cools. So basically, they're not moving the interest rate up. It's staying right where it's at. And what that did for the bond market, for the treasury market, for the market, is it brought down the interest rate, the mortgage interest rates. And I'll show you uh, what I see on our side um, as far as where the rates were at. They were at eight just a month ago. Yeah, they're like mid, mid sixes. They dropped below seven right before the meeting, and then uh, it continued to drop even more. So this is what uh, is being expected for the next few months. All right. So the Federal Reserve, again, kept the interest rates um, steady uh, during uh, Wednesday's meeting. Um, annual inflation was about 8% when the Federal Reserve uh, started raising the rates. <coughs> and now it has cool is at a manageable level at 3.1. That's some great news for, for, for the economy as far as uh, interest, uh, inflation. Um, let me see if I can find the article. They're expecting um, that it's going to be the Federal Reserve came out and said that they're expecting uh, uh, three decreases in the next uh, year, uh, 2024. So that's great news. Um, news articles came out said uh, three to five uh, decreases um, in the interest rate. Who knows? Most likely, it'll probably get that way because we're going to an election year. Um, but let me pause something. I want to pause that there and I want to show you something else. All right, so I got the article up. All right, so Fed, the Fed holds the rate study as anticipated uh, forecasts for three cuts in uh, 2024. Um, as the investors and, and everyone expected, uh, we're expecting this is, this is what's going to happen. Um, and that's good news for the real estate market. Now, also, let me show you something else um, so you guys can understand. If you looked at my previous video where I talked about interest rates coming down and what does that mean for the marketplace, I'll show you in my next, uh, on my next slide here. So give me a little bit of time. All right, so let's look at the interest rates currently. Um, I use this site, many other realtors and mortgage professionals, they'll use this site to get a good glance, uh, glance at what's going on in the marketplace. Um, now, this is nationally, but we have a local uh, mortgage uh, news also that can be more specific. But this gives you a different, uh, this gives you a guideline. So as you see, a 30-year fixed mortgage is now 6.62. Like I said, mid, but the mid sixes. Um, fixed uh, mortgage, uh, 15 year, 6.15. Jumbo, 7.2%. Uh, five and one arm, 6.24. 30 year of FHA. Let's look at that. That's a nice, that's a nice little number right there for FHA, 6.13. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk about VA. Six, cause we can't leave out my, my veteran folks. I love my veteran folks. Many of my, my family was veterans. Um, but let's talk about what does this mean? This means more buying power. 
this means less interest going towards your your loan. Um, more buying power means at eight percent you couldn't afford to buy that house, so now your mortgage payment can come down. So what does this mean for all you folks? I'm gonna say this for all you folks that always take the approach to things. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I hate to say it, guys. That's 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 the worst approach that you could ever have. It's a smarter approach, and I've been saying this to to a few of my young clients, and sometimes I think it's a struggle to get them to truly understand because they're overwhelmed from the very beginning. And I try to do my best. Like, look, I've done this. I don't know how many times now uh, with myself, not only with myself, but with tons and tons of clients. Now, the reason why I tell you keep hedging on, keep going forward, right? As this starts to come down, what's going to happen is mortgage applications are going to start to go up. Because for some reason, I think the, the way the mortgage business works or, or consumers in, that's in the process or want to be in the process of getting a mortgage, it's like cattle. What the Federal Reserve says can move you. What the news says can move you, right? And that's just the way it's been for a long time now. Um, I remember back in 2003, it was the same exact way. When the news announced the race was low, everybody and their mother was trying to buy a house. Because the news said it's for y'all to do it. I'm telling you to do it. You do it. You lock in your deal. What do I mean by locking in your deal? When this, When mortgage applications go up and these interest rates go down, the prices of the houses shoot up. So now you're not even being really truly uh, saving. You're not impacting your transaction. You're not having a total effect. Like right now, prices are, are, are lower right now during this winter time. It's a window. It's always a window. That's the best time I tell everybody that, that to buy. Because eventually what will happen coming out of September, October, if the market was forging on where we had low inventory like we do, um, after a while, it'll fizzle. And all you have to do is be able to bear to withstand the process of keep putting in, um, uh, putting in, in um, contracts and maybe being rejected. And then after a while, there'll be a time period where it's not that many buyers. And at that point, prices start to come down. The prices have started to come down, but now the interest rates are coming down. This is the perfect storm. Now, what many people do, which I don't understand, is they'll wait. I'm like, what are you waiting for? Everybody else to get to the party? So you want to let everybody else get to the party and then drive the prices back up and then make it difficult for yourself to buy because if you're an FHA buyer, I'm going to tell you this right now. My goal was always when I started years ago was to help everyone. And during this period, during COVID, it came down to do I want to win and get my clients a house and put them in the best chance? Well, if I got to put them in the best chance, that means they need a conventional loan. Because that FHA could take 15 contracts, 18 to 20 contracts before you win. That's very difficult mentally for anybody to go through. Most people are going to bow out. That's just the mental strain that it puts on a person. Where I can get a VA buyer, I can get a USDA buyer, I can get a conventional buyer. And will I have a challenge? Yes, but I'll have a less of a challenge because that contract will be accepted faster. And you can check these facts. You can go into any form and you can type that in and see what, what spits out. But nine times out of 10, uh, the VA buyer, um, conventional buyer, you know, end up winning um, faster than FHA. All right, and just look. This is the, this is one of the reasons why FHA is lower for the interest rate. It's also lower for the credit score. Um, and and a seller is worried about making sure we have a strong buyer, a real strong buyer. That's what that's what we're we're worried about. All right. So um, hopefully you'll understand action now. And if this trend continues to 
happen, what will happen is this. It takes 45 days for any uh, house that goes on a contract, 30 to 45 days, 30 to 60 days, we'll, we'll say. So within that 30-day period, the interest rate can go down even more. So you're, you're actually winning even more, right? If it goes down in 45 days, uh, you, you really would because it could go down even more. If it's projected to go down, boom, that's fine. If you buy now and the interest rate goes down by a whole point, what do I mean by a whole point? So this 6.15 or 6.62 is now 1.52 or less. That's when you refinance. You get out that deal. It doesn't cost anything to refinance, all right? So I'm just teaching you some tips that will put you in a winning position. Tips. Now, I've had clients over the last four or five years, they're refinanced. Someone was in six, were, were in 6% mortgages, and that mortgage got down below three, and they refinanced. That's what we, that's what we all do if you want to save some money, all right? So if you got any questions about what to do, you ready to go, let's go. Um, I'm here to help you. But as the market shifts, the conditions shift, so strategies shift. Before, Newcastle County is a tougher of the three counties, well, two, because um, you, you, you probably won't never be able to get down to the beach um, as far as price. But uh, Newcastle County is the most desirable because it's a lot of people that, that's coming from Philadelphia that still work in Philadelphia that live in Delaware, from Maryland, from New Jersey. Um, and they like they like that sort of commute versus going down to Smyrna, Dover, you know, and, and, and beyond. All right. So hopefully this video helps you. Share it, like it, comment, do all the good things that we do on the internet. I like I like for people to be engaged and really interact with me. If there's something that you want to know. Just, sit, just write it in here, and I'll be delighted to answer your questions. All right, take care.